we have learned about vibration vibration is important in the last chapter if vibration is important similarly a medium is also important for the sound to propagate propagate means to travel okay so for sound to propagate or to travel a medium is very important a substance through which the sound travels is called a medium so substance through which the sound travels is called as the medium of sound air is one of the medium of sound air is one of the medium of sound that it travels you must have played with that activity holding two match boxes or a can okay a thermocol cup and then speaking and then hearing this activity given on page number 100 the same kind of activity tells us that a medium is very important for the sound to travel it also tells me that we also need a string a string is also medium string for example telephone lines the telephone lines carry what vibrations if the telephone line is broken and if we just tie the line will the telephone will be working no the telephone won't be working why because because of breaking of the particular wire of the telephone the vibrations could not go via the wire that is the reason you cannot hear the sound of the telephone hence a string is also a very important medium for a sound to travel also sound needs a string or some other medium for its propagation so let us try an experiment over here as per your textbook on page number 101 now what they are doing is they are taking a round bottom flask they are taking a round bottom flask they are fitting it with a cork there are two holes in the cork okay they are filling it with water it is placed on a stand and it is being heated okay Now, there is one hole is having a rod placed with tongs. Okay, there are two tongs over here. And in one there is a tube. through which the air can pass this tube is tied to a rubber tube and there is a clamp over here so now let us do labeling this is your round bottom flask the round bottom flask we will take water A stand there is a burner okay there is a cork then there is a holder there are a pair of a glass rod with the wire through one hole tied with tongs okay we can see a tong or a bell a bell is written in your textbook pair of bells this is the pipe a two then we can see a glass tube not a pipe a glass tube
okay this is the rubber part and a clamp this is your clamp with a rubber tube now what are we trying to prove in this particular experiment that i will discuss with you the moment i start heating this particular apparatus moment i start heating this particular apparatus i can do one thing over here i can show you steam i can see the water getting boiled so i will have two observations over here i will have observations and there are two observations one when there was steam and second when the steam was condensed now steam will be obtained when i am heating this particular apparatus steam means there is air steam means there is air okay in this particular position if i shake the if i shake the round bottom flask if i shake the round bottom flask i can hear the sound coming from the bells i can hear the sound coming from the bells but now once i keep it for cooling if i keep it for cooling then what is going to happen once i keep it for cooling or if i add some if i add some more cold water in it then what is going to happen it will get condensed the steam will get condensed then what is going to happen once the steam start getting condensed there is no air there is no air in the particular flask that means there is no medium and now if i move this particular apparatus i will not hear i will not hear the ringing of bells so what does it proves it proves that always a medium is important always a medium is important for sound to propagate for sound to propagate or sound to travel so see on page number 102 we cannot hear the ringing after because after the steam condenses there is no medium left inside the flask to carry out the sound once i release the particular clamp if i release this clamp now again the steam will uh, again the air will come inside and now again i can hear the sound it simply proves when there was steam i could hear because there was a medium known as air but once i cooled it it condensed the steam condensed and there was no air that means i could not hear the ringing of the bells so now let us draw some important conclusions so first a medium is important a medium is necessary for is necessary for propagation of sound second sound can be propagated through solid liquid as gaseous mediums so it can be a solid medium a liquid medium or a gaseous medium but a medium is required third sound travel fastest fast and at a medium level in the following mediums fastest in solid fast in liquid and medium in gaseous substance okay so these are the three these are the three conclusions i can draw from this that the medium is important for a sound sound to propagate solid liquid gaseous mediums are allowed we can pass sound to this next is the fastest is in solid fast in liquid and medium in gaseous this is the speed of the sound ye uh? speed of the sound hai. okay now there are two more activities given over here to make it clear that we can hear sound very clearly through a solid substance then there is an activity on page number 103 which uh, if you take a balloon and fill it with air and 